what is up guys and today we are back again on dreamscape and we're actually going to be doing loot from one hour of olaf so this is actually added in the second most recent update and it is actually a really cool boss so if you take a look at the boss teleports over here and you scroll right to the bottom you can see olaf right there so it actually drops the olaf set along with the olaf's cape olaf's death scythe and also the three best in slot boots for each of their attack cells so yeah all of this stuff is worth a lot of money and it has like 10,000 hp but you can actually one hit it with the executive or the owner cape so this boss is found at the executive zone and the owner cape zone as well as like its own unique teleport here so i think there's this spot is quite camped by a lot of people since you don't need anything to get here i <laughs> so and this guy says what's up dude but yeah you can also kill them at the owner cape zone or the executive zone so you just click operate there big fan shout out to this dude but yeah there's like 11 spawn little circle right here so you can just like kill them all one by one but yeah basically what the gear i'm going to be using is full eclipse the like aqua spiritual the eternal key and stuff the executive cape mystic level 2 trick amulet eye the sis boots which this boss actually drops the avery's ring eye mystic gloves so yeah, the stuff is all really over powered but like with the executive game you just get max sets anyway but my drop rate bonus is actually 80% which is really high and I've also got a double drop bonus of 65% I should be getting quite a lot of drops hopefully and yeah the staff is also very quick so I can kill them all really quickly I'll just do like a quick demonstration so I just like click each one and then they all just die <laughs> as you can see right here like I just have to click on each of them once and we just slaughter them all as well so you get executive points for killing them in the executive zone as well so I believe you can check that by talking to this guy and also if you do have one of these capes you can get daily rewards so we just got a quadrant box and we got two troll which isn't bad at all and yeah he also sells loads of other cool stuff for executive points such as boxes agile the defender icons and also a purple santa hat is actually worth a few quadrillion but that does cost a lot of points so you have to save up quite a lot for that but you just get points for killing stuff in this zone so eventually over time they will add up and you'll be able to afford some of this stuff the executive cape also has a really cool emote which i'll just show off really quickly so just go to like the emotes and then click on skill cape so right here so you transform into a tank and like you basically transform into loads of different bosses so there is actually a tank boss i believe that's diablo but the tank boss can only be killed by iron men i believe that's virago and you say hashtag ds gang so yeah that's a really cool cape so yeah they have posted this update on forums so you can see that it has a plus 2530 melee strength you can see the stats right here along with the scythe which is really cool and um yeah they have a description of, like the boss teleports and it can be taken out with any combat style except range uses a super OP vengeance attack and it also can be one hit by both owner capes and executive capes so i didn't actually realize that so yeah i'm probably assuming using the executive cape on both accounts rather than the infernal cape since i'll be able to one hit it and there's like 11 olafs at each owner cape zone so i'm probably gonna go there and yeah you can see that it drops the best in slot boots for their respective combat style so yeah let's go do this boss for an hour all right so i've got the stopwatch up right here and i believe our current kill count is 30 so from whatever we end up with i'll just minus 30 from it so yeah let's begin Alright, so it's now been 15 minutes and we haven't had any red drops yet, unfortunately. But we have had a treasure chest, which is decent, I guess. And also loads of oil ourselves, like 1,544, which is about almost 8 keys. So in total, we should end up with around 6,000. And hopefully we'll get some loot from those 30 keys that we opened. But yeah, so far, unfortunately, no red drops. But it has only been 15 minutes. So hopefully later on, we'll get some bear drops. But yeah, let's keep going.
Alright, it's now been half an hour and we're at just over 3,100 souls and loads of charms and still one treasure chest. So unfortunately, we literally got nothing other than souls and charms in that past 15 minutes. But we've still got half an hour left, so I'm really hoping we can get something rare at least. So yeah, let's keep going. Alright, so it's been 45 minutes and I don't know if you guys actually noticed, but we actually got an Olaf's plate body, which is one of the rarest drops you can actually get from this, and that's actually worth like 200 to 300 trillion, so yeah, literally already made banks, so we didn't even have to wait that long, it's only 45 minutes as well, so yeah, we actually did get a really rare drop, and also there's two more treasure chests and loads of Olaf's souls as well, so yeah, we've still got another 15 minutes left to go, so if we get another rare drop, that'd be really cool, but to be honest, I'm already really happy we actually did manage to get a plate body, like yeah, that is actually really cool, and I'm, I'm only doing it on one account as well, so yeah, we did get pretty lucky, and I'm not sure what kill count it was on but if you guys like pause through the video like watch through it slowly you might see because like i was just like afk killing them i wasn't even looking at the chat box but yeah i'm actually really happy that i actually did get a drop and yeah we might even get a drop from all these olaf keys once we use them as well so yeah still another 50 minutes left to go so yeah let's keep going Alright, so it's finally been one hour of killing this boss and all we ended up getting as a rare drop was the LS plate body, which is still a really good thing. Like, I wasn't actually expecting to get any rare drops, but we did actually manage to get one. We also got a key fragment, one and four treasure chests, so pretty decent loot. So many, like, charms as well. In total, we got 1,750 kill count, which is quite a lot. So yeah, that's probably around the amount you'd be expecting to kill per hour. So yeah, I'm going to convert all of these to keys now and I think I should be ending up. Right, so yeah, I'm going to end up with 31 keys. So the way you use these is the soul room. So you have to type colon colon soul room and then you 
teleport straight there. All right, so then you go to the soul chest and you click on the boss, so Olaf, and it tells you all the possible loot you can get from it. So all the Olaf's armor, Olaf's cape, berserker boots, and Olaf's death dice. So yeah, hopefully you get some good loot. All right, so I'm just gonna spam click it now and I'm really hoping you get something. Oh my God, they just use like the majority of these keys and got absolutely nothing. Come on, no way. Literally all of this has just been trash. Ice gloves, dual god sword. Oh my God. Why can't we got something decent? But yeah, you can actually just exchange all of this to get some cash for it, which isn't very much, but still better than nothing, I guess. And finally, our last three keys. Oh, a rainbow afro. Finally, our last key, Avertus robe legs. Oh my God. Ah, <sighs> well, there goes all of our keys. But yeah, I'm still really happy about the fact that we got no less play body. To be honest, that is still quite a lot of money, like 300 trill. And yeah, if we wanted to, we could have sold all those keys for like a few trillion each and even made more money. So yeah, per hour, this is a really decent boss to make money from. And yeah, pretty happy with the loop. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to be giving away this Olaf's flight body that we actually got from the boss. So yeah, it is worth between 200 to 300 trillion. So it's still worth a lot of money. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is just like the video, subscribe to my channel and comment your game name on Dreamscape. And before you comment your name, make sure you register log in first. Otherwise, someone could take your account name. So make sure that doesn't happen to you, but that's pretty much all you need to do to enter. So good luck on that giveaway. And now I'm actually going to pick the results in the previous video for the 10 event boxes. So good luck to everyone. All right. So it's now time to pick the winner of the 10 event boxes. So good luck to everyone. And the winner is Noob379. Congratulations, dude. You just won yourself 10 event boxes. So just PM me on Discord or in game to get your prize. So congrats again, dude. Anyway, guys, definitely make sure to do try out the server. There's currently over 350 online at 500 plus at peak time. So if you haven't already, then definitely come try it out. The link to the server is in the description below and it's also a referral link. So yeah, clicking on that would help me out a lot. So make sure to click on that link and definitely do come try it out. There's literally so much bosses and gambling is also really active on here. And there's so many cool mini games as well. So yeah, if you haven't tried it out already, then definitely make sure to. And yeah, good luck on the giveaway. Make sure to enter. And thanks for watching the video, guys.